Hi boys and girls, welcome back to Mystery Granny's Schoolhouse. Today we are going to learn numbers. We will learn numbers in English and in Korean. So let's get started. The first number is 1. 1. In English, it's one. In Korean, it's il. Il. Number one is il in Korean. The next number is the number two. Two. In English, it's called two. In Korean, we call it e. E. What comes next? It's number three. Number three. In Korean, we say sam. Sam. Do you know what comes next after three? It's number four. Sa. In Korean, it's called Sa, number four. Next is number five. Five, number five. O, oh. number five in Korean is O. Oh. One, il. Two, e. Three, sam. Four, sa. Five, o. Let's move on to number six. Six. Six is yuk. Yuk. Number six in Korean is yuk. Next is number seven. Seven. Number seven in Korean is chil. Chil. Next, what comes next? Number eight. Number eight. In English, we say it's eight. In Korean, we say pal. Pal. In Korean, number eight is pronounced pal. Where's number nine? Here it is. Number nine. Nine. In English, we say nine. In Korean, we say ku. Ku. Number nine in Korean is ku. What, co what comes next, boys and girls? Let me see. Number 10. 10. 10. In English, we say 10. In Korean, we say ship. So let's review the next line. Number 6, yuk. Number 7, Chil. Number eight, pal. Number nine, ku. Number ten, ship. Did you get that? Now this is a math puzzle right here, and this granny will be showing you how to do math problems. And in math problems, there are four types of calculations that we do. The first one is a plus sign. This is a plus sign. And we add numbers using the plus sign. And I will show you how. The plus sign in Korean is called toagi. Toagi, that means addition. We need to add numbers using this plus sign. Next is the minus sign. This is the minus sign. We use that number. We use that sign 
to solve problems in taking away, minusing, taking away objects or numbers. Next is, and also that sign in Korean is baggy. We call it baggy. Next is the multiplication sign, the times sign. We multiply numbers, we multiply objects. And in Korean, we call it kopagi. Kopagi. Finally, we have the division sign, the symbol, the division symbol. And we divide objects, we divide numbers using that symbol. And lastly, we have the equal sign. This symbol tells us when something and something is added, then it becomes, this sign means it becomes something. And Granny will show you how to do all these additional problems, subtractions, multiplications, and divisions. Today, I am just inter introducing you to the numbers. And in the future, this granny will show you how to add numbers, subtract numbers, multiply numbers, divide numbers, and will show you many math problems. But today, I'm just introducing you to all the different numbers that we have in English and in Korean. Let's move along. Next comes 11. 11. 11 is 10 plus 1. That equals 11. In Korean, we call it 11. Remember I told you 10 is 11 is 1. So when we're saying the letter or the number 11, we say 11. So the most important thing that you need to remember are the 10 numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. For 11, we say 11. Next comes number 12. So how do you think we should say number 12 in Korean? If this is ship and if this is e, how do we say 12? Ship e. So this is ship e. Next is 13. 13. Okay kids, now you should know what is it? 10 ship plus 3. Sam. We say ship sam. Number 14. 14. Ship and this is sa. So we say ship sa. Number 14 is ship sa. What comes next? Number 15. And we have number 15 right here. 15. 15. In Korean, we say ship. And this was, what was this again? This was o. So we say ship o. That means it's 15. Wow, you guys are so good. We're almost done now. Next comes 16. 16. Ship, and this is you. Ship, you. Ship, you. We say ship, you for number 16. We're almost done. Number 17. This is seven. Chil. This is ship. So we say ship, chil. Ship, chil is Number 17. Ship chill. Number 17. 
Then comes number 18. 18. What is this again? I'll give time for you to think. In Korean, this is what? This is ship. In Korean, number 8 is what? Pal. Ship pal. 18 is ship pal. Number 19. Ship. What is this? This is 9. Ship ku. Ku is 9. Ship ku. So number 19 in Korean is ship ku. The final number for our puzzle is number 20. And we don't say ship ship for 20. We don't say that. We call this E ship. So I guess it's reversed. We say the two first and then the ten. Two of the tens make it twenty. So we say e ship. And for those of you who are interested in learning the other higher numbers, twenty-one would be e ship il. Twenty-two would be e ship e. Do you get it? E ship. E ship and thirties would be what would thirty be? Sam ship. Sam ship. If it's thirty one, you would say sam ship il. Thirty two would be sam ship e. Thirty three, sam ship sam. And it goes on and on. I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson today. Why don't we review just the symbol naming, just the simple naming of the numbers? One, il, two, e, three, sam, four, sa, five, o, six, yu. 7, 7, 8, 8, 9, 9, 10, 10, 10, 11, 11, 12, 12, 13, 13, 14, 14, 15, Ship o sixteen ship yuk seventeen ship chil eighteen ship pal nineteen ship gu twenty e ship. I hope you enjoyed this lesson today and remember keep you reviewing the numbers and this granny will tell you even higher numbers next time. I really enjoyed this time with you. I hope you come back next time. See you at Mystery Granny's Schoolhouse. Bye.